Today I'm going to show you guys how to use Rockstar Editor in Paradox. So first off, here's a list of interiors you cannot use for sure in Paradox on Rockstar Editor due to encryptions from the modders themselves. Alrighty, there's a few things I'm going to go over really fast before we get into it. First thing is, if you shoot a Rockstar Editor video in NVE, with the mod on, you have to also use the replay editor with it on, and vice versa. Next, to bring up Rockstar Editor to begin with, well, the recorder, you're going to type slash Rockstar, you see that box on top left of your screen. You're going to hit start recording. You're going to see a timer on the bottom left there. It'll keep going as long as you let it, and about every minute or 30 seconds, it'll save, and it'll tell you to save your clip. So, we're going to move around a little bit. Moving around like this or walking around is not going to affect the clip at all unless you use the game camera. Next, you're going to hit save. You can also discard if you chose to. And now, to get into the clip you just made, I'm going to show you. We're going to have to get out of the server and go back to the base of 5M. All right, so here we are at the base of 5M. You're going to see this box here labeled Replay Editor. You're going to go ahead and select that. Hit go. You will see this for about 30 seconds to two or three minutes. It really depends on your PC. If you have a good PC, it'll load pretty fast. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up. All right, so here we are. The base of Rockstar Editor here. Create new project, load project, direct mode, clip management, all that, you can see your gallery. Start off, create new project, add a clip. I'm gonna use the one we just recorded since it's not near any interior. Something I want to go over with you, you can only go into one clip at a time with 5M Rockstar Editor right now, considering it's not fully supported. If you try to, say, go into this clip, back out, and go into another clip without restarting, it just crashes every time. So we're going to go into this clip. We're going to let it load. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. Sometimes this can take a few minutes. Alrighty. Welcome back. So this is the base of Rockstar Editor here. You're going to see your first anchor point is going to tell you your cameras, your effects, your audio, your speed. You can affect the speed. Your position is just where you're at in the timeline. Uh, you can also do transition, stuff like that. I usually don't mess with that very much. Um, game camera, obviously, where you were moving your camera around in the game, you know, stuff like that. This is me moving. But the cool part about this is if you go to camera, you go free camera. You're limited to like a good 25 meters, I think. Like I can go all the way over here. It shows you a, a boundary around your character. So you got a lot of room to play with. All right, perfect. We're going to go right here. So let's say you want to do a basic scene where you're here and we zoom around and flip around. So that's our first camera spot. Nope, that's our anchor point. So wait a few seconds. Hit the space bar, hit enter, camera, free camera. And then let's say you want to end up... Let's go right, actually. Let's say you want to end up coming down and around right here. All right? Perfect. Keeping it on my... All right, so obviously didn't do anything. All right, so here we are. We're going to have our camera kind of slide over to that other position. To do that, blend mode. Turn it to linear or smooth. Up to you. Depends what looks better. And there you go. And let's say you want to do some zooming in action or moving around again. Same thing. Free camera. Pick a spot. You can have it zoom out. I'm actually a little close to Davis PD if I zoom too far in. So what we'll do now is linear. Bam. And that's pretty much the basics. Uh, to get this out of Rockstar Editor, I always screen cap it. What I do is I just hit my H key. I hit the play button and let it roll. And that is it. I want to thank you guys for watching this, and I appreciate your time. You guys have a good one.